Hey everybody, it's Rose with Simples Emporium again. Um, as promised, this is my second charm update. Um, I just did a first one, and just wanted to split them up a little bit so that it wasn't too long of a video. Um, in the previous one I showed some of my older creations, and um, in this one I'm going to show you some more up-to-date stuff and some original designs. So, I'll start with the stuff that I was doing um, along with tutorials. There we go. So these three you can find in tutorials by a little Mew, and I love her stuff. It's all very pretty, um, very stylistic. Um, she's definitely got her own kind of look going on. Um, this is a uh, a mole lion or molong, uh, super cute, super chubby. Um, I left him unglazed because I like that soft matte kind of look, um, but I really like him. He's the first one that I did. And then um, the second one I did in her tutorials is this cat bug, and I love the Bravest Warriors, and I love cat bug and jelly kid. Um, and I showed this in the in the previous uh, video, but this is the one that I tried to make on my own uh, using no tutorial several months ago before I had any tools. Um, and as you can see, there's a sizable difference here. Um, better colors, more pop, like way, way better. And the face is much improved. So, yep, I'm pleased with this cat bug. I'll probably do another one soon. And this kitsune that I, I loved watching this video because of how much she paints in it. And I was able to learn a little bit about, um, you know, just kind of best practices with paintings. I really enjoyed that tutorial. So again, it's the little Mew. I'll leave her in the description box. Um, and this is by, this is a tutorial that I followed, a tea bag tutorial. And um, the, let's see, on YouTube, it's Creative Sculpey. On other social media, it's, it's Rachie H. Um, she did a really cute kawaii face on hers, but I'm really bad at kawaii stuff. I don't know why it is. Uh, I think it's really cute, but I'm just terrible at it. So I left the face off and just went for a slightly more realistic look to the to the charm um, with the kind of translucence and the staining going upward. I love tea, by the way. So um, now this is a this is a good example of me being terrible at kawaii stuff. This is as good as I could get this little face. Um, this was another creative Sculpey charm uh, tutorial that I followed. I could I could make excuses for myself and say that like this oh this this clay was too soft it was sticking to my fingertips which it was but um, really it just the face is still really big and seriously look at this first attempt <laughs> it is just the worst so um, I kind of let that one lie and tried again this took me uh, a really shamefully long time to do so I'm gonna kind of steer clear of kawaii stuff. Um, it's cute, but I can't, I almost never think of things to do in a kawaii fashion anyway, so. Um, up next. Now these are original designs. Um, it's, I'm calling them caterwalls because they're caterpillar narwhals. And I also just love the word caterwall. Um, if you've never heard it, I mean, I've only heard people like me from the south say it. Um, but to caterwaul is like to wail or fuss, you know, really loudly. And I've always loved that word. Um, so this, these are little caterpillar narwhals. And they're hard to photograph, but, um, because you have to turn them to see their whole face. Um, but they've got these little pouchy cheeks that I love a lot. And the little, like, surprised mouth. Um, so I kind of gave them the shape. Uh, in, in shape, they're kind of like a blend between caterpillar and narwhal. Then I gave them caterpillar eyes and mouth, and then the narwhal point there. Uh, the little unicorn horn type thing. Um, but yeah, I just had fun making those. Let's see what else we got. Um, I've got some kind of oddball things that I've been playing around with. Um, I'm calling them face beasts, because <laughs> they are literally all face. Uh, there's really nothing else to them. Um... Let's see here. I'll just get them all out. Um, this is the first one that I made. And he, I love him because he looks so put out. He's so angry. Um, I really like doing eyes this way. With like the socket and the lid and the brow bone and everything. Um, it's a lot easier for me to do for some reason. Um, don't ask why. It just comes to me a little better. A little more natural. 
Um, but I love his little toes. That's all he's got, his little toes. No full leg or anything. And his little rump is so round. I love it. Um, so he was my very first. And, hey, there we go. Um, this was the second one that I made. And I decided to incorporate some seashells that I've had laying around. Um, I really like these naturally purple and white shells. So I made a little purple dragonlet to go in there. Um, gave him some kind of ram's horns. And then um, if you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial, I'm happy to do one. You can get cheap, uh, really cheap shells on Etsy or even on Amazon or Hobby Lobby. And so these are really, really easy to do. Um, let's see. This is the next one I made. Uh, what I'm calling a koi wyvern. Um, it's got the little frill fan that could either be uh, fins or like scales like on a dragon. And I'm calling him a wyvern instead of a dragon because he's only got the two legs. Um, and mythologically speaking, <laughs> um, that would be more accurate. Uh, and that's the kind of person I am. I like accuracy in my ridiculous tiny miniatures. Uh, anyway, I really like the way his eyes turned out. Um, instead of using clay, I painted the inside with acrylic paints that I liked, used a little bit of the jacquard pigment, and then filled it with Dimensional Magic by uh, Mod Podge. Really liked how that turned out. It looks kind of opalescent. Um, here are a couple other acorn face beasts. I'm calling this one the Kinglet because he's got a cute little crown. Um, and then I've got the like chickadee acorn, uh, acorn chickadee, uh, with a more earnest, cute face there. Um, these acorns are absolutely fabulous. They're really, really tough and sturdy. So I was able to, these aren't actually even glued in. I just was able to tuck them in and they are solid. I love those acorns. And I found them in my sister's yard, so yay. Endless supply. Sustainability. Alright. Um, now we've got this little guy who I messed up on, as you can see. He's got just the most dismal coloring. Um, after I took him out of the oven, I had to scrape away, uh, wash away the pastels on his face because it just all turned black. Uh, the colors did not retain uh, their, their nice shades, so... Um, and what's going on with that mouth is I wanted to do a little tardigrade water bear mouth. Um, they're kind of like a tube snout thing. Um, but yeah, it just looks so creepy. But I'm fond of him, so I kept him. And then here, this one's a little bit of fan art, a little bit of a personal design. Um, I mimicked the Zora heads in, um, in Zelda. I was thinking of Princess Ruto from uh, Ocarina of Time. Who was a little bit a little bit prissy for my taste, but I always thought she was very very pretty. So um, I kind of mimicked the shape of the head, gave her the gill ears, and then the coloration there. And then this little guy who was the last one that I did, just super tiny um, little fish guy with his cute little fish mouth. Um, other than that, let's see. I forgot to show these off in the last video. These are axolotl dragons. I didn't get them quite as polished as I wanted, but I was like, I was away from home and I was barely paying attention. Um, and I'll probably go back and do an update on those soon. But those are pretty old, so they're due. Let's see. Um, these are my first three cupcakes that I've made, and I'm pretty fond of them. I just finished them last night. Um, this and this, I'll put him back for a second. These two are um, avocado. Uh, this one's just avocado with a pit on top, and this one is guacamole, because I love avocados and I love guacamole. Uh, I've got two, two types of little embellishments on there. I've got some um, purple onion cane that I made and sliced for this, and then I made a few tiny slices of tomato to put on there as well. Uh, but yeah, I was really pleased with these for my first attempted at cupcakes. Um, I got the mold um, from a shop on Etsy that I'll link below. I was really pleased with how quickly they got here and in the quality. So I'm happy to help promote. Um, let's see. And that's the 13 millimeter uh, cupcake mold, by the way. This little guy I made for my fiance. Um, he, he loves Fallout, like endlessly loves Fallout. And in honor of Fallout 4, I made him a little vault boy. Um, I didn't quite get the colors the way I wanted them on the little cupcake body, but... The face worked out okay. I gave him his, his little uh, earnest eyebrows there. And then the last one that I made, I made this one last night, 
a little Instagram icon. Um, and I've only just gotten started in, in Instagram, so if you guys have any pointers um, or you want to connect, I would be like super grateful to you. Um, I feel like one of the old folks <laughs> on Instagram. I feel like I'm way too old to be there hanging out with all the cool kids, but um, it's been it's been really neat. I like seeing everybody's um, artwork and what have you, and I and I don't know why it's kind of arbitrary, but I love this icon, um, so I went ahead and made one. Um, and I'm happy to do a tutorial if you like this, the, the way this looks. I'm happy to show you how I got um, the rounded, kind of glassy look to the lens and how I shaped it. So just let me know and uh, what you guys are interested in seeing tutorials on and I'll be back soon.